All right. Welcome to Shoponomics. This is our hey. episode two. Uh, my name is Matt, and this is Daniel over here. Daniel. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in. Um, this is where our weekly show where we go through and look at different e-commerce websites and just kind of look at the brand on, as a whole and just go through Google shopping. We look at Facebook ads. We look at the user experience. And um, today we're going to kind of peek under the hood too and see what kind of different technologies um, this brand is using. So yeah, let's jump right in. I'm going to... Um, I guess real quick, Daniel, is this a brand that you uh, is this, do you shop here? I have. I don't believe I've ever shopped on this website. I'm not. Yeah, sure. same same here. It looks like a super cool brand. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, right yeah. Off, let's right off the bat, you see Andy Warhol there, so that uh, you know that's going to catch the attention of of quite a few people. Um, uh, people who are into fashion. Uh, uh creative on the creative side of things like that's uh uh you know right away has a big potential for a big impact so yeah definitely definitely yeah i um yeah come i really quick to um one thing i was noticing with the cookie bar that's like man it's huge it's uh can you click continue so yeah can yeah so i just kept it up there um when just we the, yeah starting. yeah just to show um you know so this this website's collecting cookies it's uh, Many, many websites do this now and give you a, a kind of opt-in uh, or opt-out. This this one is just continue, so mm -hmm. um, no option to opt-out of cookies there like you do see on some other websites. So. Yeah, yeah, it's a good point. I've Lately, when I do have the option, I'm kind of, you know, I click, just, you know, click remove myself from all, mostly. Right. Um, right. So some websites will have, you know, kind of the essentials that, the website to perform properly um and sometimes i'll say okay to that but all the different tracking ones i don't don't want to be tracked <laughs> yeah yeah um so yeah i guess let's we'll just since we're here let's start with the user experience i love the the look uh, one thing that daniel and i both talked about this before we jumped on was just the logo and i guess if you're this is a brand you follow you're probably used to seeing that logo so but yeah for us it's like he's on a bigger screen i'm on a laptop I mean, it's barely legible. I, I don't even know what a lot of that text around the logo is. Yeah, um, yeah. Let's see on mobile real quick just to see. Yeah, it's, it doesn't seem like it. the logo gets any bigger mm -hmm. uh, in mobile view. Um, so I was sometimes you see that when you go to a mobile device, the logo is a different uh, size. But here in this case, it, it really looks like the logo doesn't get any bigger whatsoever. Yep. And even the logo on that little bag there too. I mean, I imagine if you had that bag, it's it seems like some of the small text is yeah. pretty tiny. You might need a magnifying glass. The logo um, on yeah, the great. bag is is bigger than the logo in the header. Right, <laughs> right. Uh, but yeah, I love that they have you know classic Andy Warhol. I mean, most people are going to recognize that. And then cool brand on this on the side. Um, yeah, while you do the super nav uh, compared to our last week's. Um, website last week we discussed lululemon and um if we compared super navs um from that site to this site this one's much cleaner um yeah it's like super i mean backpacks accessories headwear i mean it's super i love it it's just clean lots of white space um on my laptop the super nav definitely kind of takes over the whole screen so yes um yeah that that was one of the things navigating around this site just a little bit um, I felt like moving the mouse around, sometimes the nav would would pop down without mm. me intending for it to pop down. And it mm -hmm. was so big that it really, it, it, it takes over the page. And so it felt like I had just navigated off the homepage. Right, to another um, page and you're just... Yeah, but it, so it took a little while to figure out, oh, no, I'm, I, I hovered somewhere that triggered that. Um, so it was, that part is a little... Because it's so big and takes up the whole page or most of the page, mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure how much I like the sensitivity uh, mm -hmm. of the you know the area where it triggers. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe maybe on click might be better, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, that was one little little issue that I had uh, mm -hmm. just you know coming to the site initially. Got it. Got it. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's scroll down. Oh, one thing I note compared to the last week's site 
Lululemon also did not have a pop up. So I meant I, when I was looking through the site before, um, before we hopped on, I didn't see any pop up. So interesting to see that these huge, huge worldwide brands are not doing the pop up when we're kind of used to seeing yeah. pop up on you know most direct to consumer websites. So, yep. um, but yeah, category is super clean there. I mean, it's like yep. nice product imagery on white or off white backgrounds. So super. I mean, they just pop easily you know navigate to kind of find out what you're looking for you know so yeah mm -hmm. i like i like it We've got some lifestyle photos underneath yeah. new arrivals We've got like a call to action for the chocolate uh series or... collection yeah yeah then we've got a few more products underneath um good use of color again uh with the black and red uh mm -hmm. products there we've got like a blog post um and then we get down to the bottom of the site which is super simple and clean as well yeah yeah and i like those three icons shipping warranty returns lots of space between so i mean it's mm -hmm. definitely your eyes kind of gravitate it's like and i'll bet yeah. you those three things are three important things that or they are i mean we know um shipping warranty and returns um so yeah that's those are that's good use of the space um, yeah. live chat email phone number off to the right there and um no. yeah not too obviously it's a huge site and um you know we've got some navigation to main areas below but it's not overwhelming so yeah it looks like these icons that you mentioned here these appear to be um uh, or these are unfamiliar to me i'm used to seeing a lot of icons and so i mean the truck is a is a kind of a standard truck but these other two, the warranty and returns icons, do seem like perhaps they're custom custom icons mm -hmm. or from a, mm -hmm. a, a less used icon library. Mm -hmm. um, so that's always interesting, as opposed to the uh, the standard, um, you know, font awesome icon libraries right, we, or or material yeah, libraries or um, yep. you know some of the more popular ones. Yep. Uh, let's dive into a product. All right, let's see. Let's go backpacks. Let's go backpacks, yeah. Yeah, yeah so I love this up. image. Super cool image. We got a quiz. Oh yeah, yeah. Shop quiz. What's what's the quiz? Let's see this quiz. Interesting. Okay, so this is like this is uh, brand, one of their, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. You know, I saw that too when I first landed on the backpack page. I thought it was like, oh, uh, it was just some kind of game or something. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. That's why I clicked it. They tricked me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, pop quiz is the name of the backpack apparently so okay again nice category uh mm -hmm. you know we've got all the different types of backpacks here you know just at a glance we can see all the different types and we can scroll over to see more so yeah uh, yeah, yeah this i like is the nice. categories yeah it's good filters What's... over here on the left mm -hmm. um, and yeah as you the... scroll down a little more the the category that section will stay locked, which I like. Yeah. Yeah, there are a few, and one of the things that might be kind of difficult to achieve, you notice there are a few filters here that because we're in the backpack category, um, everything's one size, everything's a backpack. Um, oh, yep. And so these two particular filters are kind of unnecessary for this uh, category product, but because of the, uh, they didn't go through the trouble of setting up a separate um, template or separate logic just for this uh, particular category, which um, you know, would, I guess would be a, a nice thing to do, but you see that, I mean, you, you see that most of the time where there are uh, maybe some filters that don't, uh, are applicable to what you're looking at. Yeah. Yep. yeah. But yeah, these this this looks great. A lot of different features you could go by. Let's see how many have med magnetic closures. Only one. Okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. I like the camo there. Yeah, these are. I nice. like that. That's a cool. Oh. Oh no, oh, there's more. Like there are a few. Yeah, there's a yeah. few. Okay. I was just down at the bottom. Um. Yeah, it looks like we have another option. You can turn off and on the filter here. Okay. Yeah. That's so that's super cool. That's nice. I like the animation when it grows and shrinks as well. Yeah, yeah, the product, yeah. the pictures, everything resizes. It's good. And notice that we have a, a recycled uh, icon on some of these, which mm -hmm. um, we haven't dug down into them, but, um, you know, that's... But yeah, we have to assume that it's 
made with recycled products, you know? Yeah. Yeah, eco-friendly, 100% recycled fabrics. So yeah, just that one little icon, you know, that icon says a lot. So, you know, somebody who is kind of environmentally, you know, conscience, um, mm -hmm. well, yep. And they're using Afterpay, which is a kind of buy now, pay later. Um, I think I, I, we might've mentioned it last week as well. Yeah, we did, we yeah. did. Yeah, yeah, uh, Lululemon was using it as well. Um, so yeah, we're seeing more and more in that in the D 2 C space for sure. Um, and it's, you know, it's a great option. You know, if somebody doesn't want to pay a hundred bucks right now, they can break it into, you know, what is it? Three payments, four payments. Yep. Um, so get the product now and pay, pay it over a four months period. So, um, yeah, it's all about kind of breaking that resistance to purchasing a product. So I like that. Are these, so these are similar products in the same kind of, in the same category. Yeah, uh, no, if I think, I mean, this may be a kind of complex thing here, but we've got uh, different sizes, standard, mid volume, small and mini. Mm -hmm. And I believe, yeah, is that, I don't know. I don't think these are, are these other products that we're comparing the sizes with? Is that what it is? Or it might be in the same line. Cause I noticed I was looking at a different pad backpack category earlier and it showed yeah. me like the tech backpack. It had a, like a big one, medium size, small. Yeah. Um, scroll back up to the top real quick. Uh, one thing I didn't like, I was on another product earlier was, um, yeah, I don't know. What do you, what are your thoughts on like on the products that are, you know, sold out, um, should be there, should just, should they remove it? <laughs> I mean, it is, if you're looking, if I come to this website looking for something specific and I couldn't find it, I might spend quite a bit of time trying to find it. Whereas if the product is crossed out like this. Mm -hmm. um, oh yeah, that's. Good. I would, yeah. I, I, as a consumer, I would be like, oh, okay, well, it's it's sold I out. Can't get it. So that might save me some time, yeah. um, of like obsessively thinking that I'm not looking in the right place. Um, so I do, I can't yeah, see that's... the merit of keeping it there. Yeah, um, well, I guess the one, I, the product that I was on earlier had three or four that were grayed out. Mm -hmm. So it was like it only had one. It was the only one that was available was black, and then. Uh, colors on both sides, or right? it just looks yeah. a little much. So yeah, and you see that sometimes with sizes, you might be searching, or I search for a specific size of uh, shirt. Yeah, click the pants. size, click it to mini or small, and see what happens. Oh, it takes you to a lot of a lot of loading happening here. Okay, standard. Um, and to another page. Wow. Okay. Yeah, there's so there's a, there's a little weird stuff going on when I'm selecting the size, and it's yeah. Taking... I think as a consumer, you know, when I'm toggling the size, I'm not expecting a new page. So a full um, reload. Yeah, that's a little yeah odd. yeah. Uh, real quick too, while we're here, uh, add to cart. It's black. You know, there's a lot of black on the side. I feel like that could yep. possibly be, uh, you know, another color yep. that stands yeah, out. Yeah, so just the really red. Yeah, the red. Um, scroll down a little bit. I saw on uh, another product. It was cool. They had some a video of a person, kind of. There yeah, is. there it is. Yeah. So I like that a lot because a lot of times, you know, you see the picture with the person wearing it, but this one, it's like, I mean, it's almost like a three sixty. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Big kind of virtual great. spin the product around, but this is like a real person, and mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah, I do too. Here's the. Th and this looks like a three sixty. Oh yeah, nice. Uh, 3D, yeah. So uh, nice. Let's look yeah. at the reviews. We've got 374 for this. Yeah, let's see. Uh, and they oh, slide in from the left. Mm -hmm. So that's nice. Yeah, decent ratings. And they have different pictures. categories: quality, fit, um, style. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It's good. I like this review. Uh, are you able to tell which uh, review is it a plugin in or? Well, I think I think we'll find out in uh, when wow, we take a look yeah, at the technology they're... in a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, so I, d I don't like that the that you can't like if I was scrolled down here I couldn't close it immediately. Oh, you can't um, so click just, out of it and just. Uh, yeah, we can. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I was looking for that X to still be there, but yeah, yep. didn't need it. I like right below the add to cart too. It just had, you know, 30 day return, limited life, you know, it has a free ground shipping. So those are, yep. you know, those all kind of stand out. Yep. 
We got some lifestyle shots. Those pictures look a little pixelated. I don't know if it's just the video or. Uh, it might be the video. I'm, I mean, it does. Yeah, you're right. It does. I am seeing some uh, little blur. Little blur. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think the backpack is in the foreground here. I, okay. I have no idea what this. <laughs> it's like a the guy has a phone. The guy has a camera on his uh, on his notebooks. So like yeah, like a real. People camera. still have cameras. <laughs> yeah. So this looks like it. Sh I'm not sure why the image on the right. What's happening there? Right. Uh, because it is. If I I can drag it and see that it's a full image, but mm -hmm. I can't. Oh, there we go. I have to click to slide, and now I can see that. Mm. There are no arrows. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just like, you know, just happened to discover. But the reason, yeah, the reason is the backpack is in focus here. And so everything beyond is pixelated. And then so mm -hmm. on this picture, uh, where is it? There. Oh, yeah, I the see. The backpack yeah, yeah. is in focus, but all that stuff's very blurry. Yeah. So, yeah, you might want to do some kind of indicator that you can move it. I mean, I guess, yeah. you know, you're on the site, you figure it out. It might take you a couple seconds. Once you figure it out, you're looking through all the rest of the products and you'll, you know, it's not too difficult to learn that. But still, I'm sure there are some people that are like, okay, this, yeah, they're not going to, they're not going to click it and scroll. So, and I would imagine the vast majority of users are on mobile for this site anyway. And you probably just swipe uh, to scroll. Whereas on yeah, desktop, can you size it down to see what, see what, if we can, uh, let's see. Right. Um, that's mm. not loading at all for me, right? That's uh, right. Yeah, few, figured out. We've got a few. Oh, there they are. Uh, yeah. So that you would swipe. Right. Yep. And um, I mean, I do think that you know, with using the browser to inspect and uh, kind of simulate the mobile experience, isn't always a hundred percent. And so there mm -hmm. are right definitely things like just this loading here looked very odd <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, because it looks like it, it doesn't fit it doesn't fit the page um, yep they do have the uh, add to cart button which turned blue on on when you size it down to this so that's that's interesting and it's fixed at the bottom so i like that yeah yeah that's nice down there um yeah, I guess I'd like to see that blue just on desktop too. Ah, uh, well, I don't know. I don't know about the blue, but yeah, yeah, blue. The blue is used here for find yours. Uh, we've got more lifestyle picks. Yep. Um, you might also like some product recommendations, um, and then back to the normal footer down here. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, the it's pretty robust product page for sure. Um, um, lots of other content on the site. You want to dive into uh, uh, the tech stack? Yeah, let's look at the tech stack next. All right. So one of the tools that we utilize pretty regularly when checking out sites is something called Built With. Um, and so we just pulled up uh, Herschel.com using uh, Built With. And what it does is just scans the site, sees what's being utilized, and then creates a list out of that. So. I mean, there. This particular site has a hundred uh, pieces that are being used, um, so we won't go through all of them, but just highlight a few. So you notice here, Bizarre Voice is a um, uh, is probably being utilized for the reviews on Herschel.com that we saw. Yeah, right, um, right. So yeah, we we clicked on the the reviews here. This all of this content most likely is being pulled from Bizarre Voice. Bizarre Voice, yeah. Um, and, and we had a chance had, to work with that a couple of a number of years ago. Yeah. But yeah, yeah Central Dashboard. Services. Yep. Um, oh. Interestingly enough, I have a meeting with a tentative uh, later today. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. So yeah, so that's a, a marketing tool, SMS, email, and um, so yeah. Using Hotjar to uh, track user behavior, uh, kind of see hotspots on the page. So when somebody comes to the site, um, they can kind of get an idea of user behavior. Uh, so yep. it's a script script that loads on the site. And again, you and so it's you, a nice step. Oh, go ahead, Matt. Oh, yeah, yeah. So not, along with hotspots, too, you can record the session. So you can yep. kind of see where their mouse is going and see, figure out, you know, um, if people are getting lost or, you know, confused. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, the um, the one thing that I uh, am not a fan of is that you get lost during the checkout process. So if there is something deep within the checkout process that um, 
uh, might there might be a problem that you want to um, uh, review. Hotjar does not record the the actual checking out mm. um, uh, just for privacy reasons, so that you don't see somebody um, you know typing in their credit card that kind of thing. Um, yeah, that makes so sense. that that part is not recorded. Um, we see that they're um, they got a number of um, track analytics. They today. got analytics four. We we had a meeting earlier today, and <laughs> mm -hmm. we're starting to get ready for that. Analytics four is uh, or they're sunsetting Google uh, Universal Analytics um, summer next summer, summer of two thousand twenty three. So yeah, that's coming up. Be here before we know it. <laughs> we got uh, the Facebook pixels on here. I mean, there's just a ton of. Um, Tracking pixels, they're being utilized. They got TikTok. Um, Pinterest. Yep. 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 Uh, we see the live you're chat. Or go ahead. You're probably you're probably gonna see a bunch of ads. Now. Or uh, we're both gonna see a bunch. Of ads. Right. Right. So we see they're using Let's Chat for their their um, live chat um, down here. Or live chat, live chat, not live yep. chat. Let's so yeah, this chat. tool is a great tool for you know if you're trying to see what some of the other companies in your space are doing. I mean, this mm -hmm. is a great tool to pop in their website and see you know what tools they're using, and um, really kind of allows you to peek under the hood. And you know, this is a huge, huge tech, tech and marketing stack. Yeah, yeah. There's just so so much here. I don't I don't think we want to spend the time to go through it all. It's it's multilingual site, so we can see that back up here. They um, they've got a yeah, so you can options. toggle languages. Yep. Yeah. Um, let's see, they're using a platform called New Order for e-commerce, so that's big. Typically, I mean, Shopify is such a huge um, e-commerce platform that it's uh, becoming more rare to see other um, yeah you see big commerce uh, quite often as well. I mean, there are some mm -hmm. other players in the field, but um, New Order is something that. Uh, I need to look into deeper. Yeah, yeah, it was both new to new to us. Using a CDN for uh, uh, storing the the assets to make the website load faster. Here we see the afterpay that we looked at earlier. Um, just a ton of. I mean, there's yeah. so much here. Um, I don't yeah, think we want to get into it all. But yeah. after looking at this long list, uh, one of the things that uh, comes up is does this slow down the site like what effects does loading all of these scripts on the site have on your site speed um and so the the next tab that we have open is uh one of the site speed tools that we use called gt metrics and uh, we loaded up herschel in that and we can see um you know it's kind of like a uh, high school grading where it's a is really good and f is not good at all um, and we see that Herschel came in with an E. Um, uh, so yeah, there, there's just a lot of a lot of room for improvement with speed. Um, we can see here that when they ran a scan, it took 15 seconds for the site to fully load. Um, so that's I mean that's pretty major uh, loading time. And uh, the biggest issue is is the all the files that it's loading. And so for the most part, a lot of these pieces that we look back on built with um, require external resources to get loaded onto the website in order to run the processes. Um, yep. Did you see, the, um, is Google Tag Manager on here? Uh, Tag Manager, I believe it is, yeah. Okay, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I believe so. Um, yeah, Tag Manager is being utilized. Yep, yep. 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 And um, so, yeah, they do have a lot of room for improvement. And uh, at being the company that they are, the large uh, company, I imagine that that the this is a pain point, something that they're working towards uh, improving. Um, so, yeah, I mean, every second counts. And I mean, we're seeing mm -hmm. on sites that we work with, you know, you improve speed. You definitely, I mean, that's one of the points that you're going to help conversions overall. So, yeah. Um, one of the other things that uh, we wanted to go over is the uh, Google Shopping. Um, and so we did a search for uh, kids' backpacks uh, and Google Shopping. And so when that loads, um, the first results are uh, everything that meets that description that's running Google Shopping ads. And so 
we see here, there's a bunch before, but you, Herschel's coming in about number six or seven uh, in the list at this moment, at least for this search. Um, and one of the things I noticed right away is it does stand out because of the, the reduced price at $27.99. Uh, stands out because of the the thousand reviews that this particular item has. It also has the sale tag up at the top, uh, which is another kind of eye-catching piece uh, on the ad end. And so, when looking at this, um, Google thousand reviews too. Yep. Yeah, thousands, crazy. Um, Google Merchant Center has a tool where you can kind of get a get a look at the best sellers, and so. Um, we'll check this, uh, pretty regularly to see what's, uh, uh, what's trending, uh, on Google shopping, maybe what some competitors are doing. Um, and in this case, we see a number of, uh, uh, a backpack being the kind of top product on Google shopping from this particular brand. Um, and, and scroll over to the right. Is there anything after price range? Or? Uh, there's not, but this list okay. can be exported, and there there are a few more um, pieces that are there. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, there's not a ton more, but there there may be like five or six more columns. Uh, okay. But the key ones are here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for sure. Um, I noticed it's interesting that like a lot of them are not in inventory. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. interesting. And so they might not be loading inventory into Google Shopping from their from their feed, um, mm -hmm. hard to say exactly, you know, why that's uh, why it's coming up that way. But um, we can click on uh, uh, an item here. We can see some details on uh, what's being the information that's being provided to um, Google Merchant Center from from the Herschel uh, website right, and their feed. Um, over here in Facebook, uh, we can take a look at at the ads that they've been running on on social. And uh... oh yeah, scroll up to the top a little bit. So yeah, when we were looking at this before, you could see they've got Facebook Malaysia, Singapore, Hong Kong. So they're mm -hmm. definitely hitting all those different markets with different ads, and those ads are in those in the native languages. So um, they've got a very very robust. Um, marketing campaign on, and this is just Facebook. So we know they're doing stuff on TikTok and snap and other platforms as well. So, but yeah, I love these ads. Um, mm -hmm. you know, we've got a bag and it's, you know, on top of an old ghetto box with some, are those tapes or CDs? Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, yeah, ads, you know, the bag really kind of stands out. Um, one thing I really like about the text above the picture is it's like one line, super simple. Mm -hmm. Free to move, essentials, packed, music on. So yeah, just um, super straight to the point. I feel like those are good. Sometimes I see a lot, like some advertisers will add too much text um, above the image. Uh, but yeah, they've got videos. I mean, great pictures, you know. Yeah, a lot of different formats, um, different ad sets. Um, all of these just launched within the last week. Um, all the ones that we've seen so far. So it's just, there's, they're super active. They get very uh, robust um, resources uh, that they're utilizing for social ads. Yep. And there's Andy Warhol, the iconic artwork. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It just goes on and on and on. Yeah. So these are all the ads from April that we've been looking at. So we're, okay. we're just yep. getting to the bottom of April and, uh, <laughs> right. um, yeah, it looks like they they didn't. At least this tool is only showing a little bit from from March. Oh, from March. Okay. Yeah. 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 But um, April, man, all these. Are, yeah, and I wonder if fresh. April's. Yeah, I wonder if that's kind of the ramp up for spring and you know summer. And, yeah. Uh, so and yeah, you could tell that those running on Instagram Messenger, um, as long as as well as Facebook. So. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, like their backgrounds are pretty, you know, similar on a lot of them yep. for the products. So, um, and yeah, good also continuity. it's, yeah, good continuity between these ads and the website. Um, also very important to mm -hmm. remember. So yeah, um, overall, I mean, we definitely, uh, maybe we'll, maybe we'll start giving, uh, <laughs> giving mm -hmm. these brands a, a grade. What do you, what do you grade it to Daniel? Um, I mean, a, it's, it's, it's a through F. Um, I mean, I would 
I would say maybe uh, an A minus. Uh, okay. I feel like they've got a little bit of room for improvement. Um, but but yeah, I mean, it seems like they're doing really great. Yeah, yeah, same. I'm I'm with you on that too. Yeah, there's a there's definitely some room for improvement, but I mean, this is high high level. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I'm sure they're working with you know several agencies and um, also have probably a huge in house team. Yep. So. Uh, yeah, well, that uh, wraps it. We're at about a half hour, so that's kind of our target time. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks for watching. Again, we're um, e-marketed, and uh, we do e-commerce marketing. So uh, check us out at emarketed.com. And uh, this is our weekly show now, so stay tuned. Uh, next week, we'll be doing a deep dive on another brand. So thanks awesome. for watching. Thanks. All right.